Hello, Dr. Mintz here. I want to go through a case that I ran into last night. This is a patient that was in a severe motor vehicle collision. We uh, almost always get C-spines on those patients. We get C-spines on a lot of patients that don't need it, so these people do. And here you can see that there is prevertebral soft tissue swelling. I didn't see any fracture or subluxation, but this amount of prevertebral soft tissue swelling is decidedly abnormal, and it basically looks like hemorrhage. It should be this thin at most all the way up in this area here. So this looked like a prevertebral hematoma. There's the epiglottis, of course. So that was our first concern, or my first concern. Then we ended up going into the uh, chest, abdomen and pelvis, and in the chest we saw a uh, an apical pleural hematoma. So at the top of the left lung, there's a, this hematoma here. Turned out there was a, a non-displaced fracture of the left second rib right here, medially. So significant injury, but of the greatest concern was this hemorrhage in the superior mediastinum. So around the great vessels, you have this spatchy little gray area that is hemorrhage, and the trachea is displaced to the right. The finding of an apical pleural hematoma itself is suggestive, or concerning at least, for a possible aortic injury. That, of course, is one of the worst things for a trauma patient to have to try to survive. So I was concerned immediately just from the apical pleural thickening and looked at the aorta, though, and even though there's blood around the aorta, I didn't really see any irregularity of the aorta itself. And here we can look at the sagittal images up here. And look at the aortic arch, and it really looks pretty good. The only thing you see is this little tiny nipple here coming off the inferior margin of the distal aortic arch, and that's the remnant of the ligamentum arteriosum. You can see how at some point it would be connecting with the pulmonary artery here. But the aortic arch and all that I can see of the aorta in the area really look pretty good. So because it's unusual to get this much blood in the superior mediastinum around the aorta, and since the aortic Injury is the worst injury practically to endure and probably the worst one to miss as well. We decided that, well, it looks like on the C-spine we had that prevertebral soft tissue swelling that we were worried about. So that alone warranted an MRI of the cervical spine just to look for any ligamentous injury. And since the patient's going to have an MRI anyway, even though we see an intact thoracic aorta, the presence of that blood around it is worrisome. Now, very often, when you get mediastinal blood, it is venous blood. In this case, uh, that probably is the case, but no harm in doing an MRI of the thoracic aorta to rule out an injury of the thoracic aorta. And so that is what is planned, or what was planned, and uh, if I get any follow-up on this, I'll let you know. Meanwhile, if you look in the upper abdomen, a couple interesting findings. First of all, I think we can see how this patient got into that trouble of a car accident, and that is uh, not only was he driving on a night that was snowing, but if you look in his uh, pancreas, you see these calcifications in the pancreatic head, especially around the uncinate process. Remember, the uncinate process wraps around here. This is superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery. So calcification of the pancreas are an indication of chronic pancreatitis, which can be from biliary stones or from alcohol. And uh, I suspect this was a patient with chronic pancreatitis from chronic alcohol abuse. And indeed, this patient has a fairly uncommon finding of a pancreatic pseudocyst. That is an incidental finding. Usually, if people come in with chronic pancreatitis and they have a pseudocyst, they are sick. Now maybe this guy has just gotten used to it, 
but uh, this was an incidental finding. Pancreatic pseudocyst, you can see how the pancreatic head comes into the neck and then the body is largely deformed and uh, replaced to a large extent by this pseudocyst. So that's an interesting finding in and of itself and it's an interesting example of where the CT findings actually provide some of the history, meaning this guy was probably drinking, he was drinking, and got in an accident largely, if not entirely, because of that. And he's got some serious pain from this severely comminuted proximal left femur fracture. So, interesting case, be on the lookout. Apical pleural hematoma on the left particularly and fracture of the first or second ribs, and this one had a fracture of the left second rib, should heighten your suspicion for thoracic aortic injury.